Now our history with the independent Catholic groups here. We've had three intercommunion agreements. One was an old Catholic church with the Utrecht succession. The other one was the Black Orthodox Catholic Church. And the third was the old Catholic Church in North America, otherwise known as Casina. They're still around. They're a big group. But they're very... They're big. They're just big. And they're not easy to work with. Is that? Because you see the word old Catholic. Old Catholics tend to believe that Vatican II never existed. So it makes it hard to work with them. Now, they were all founded and maintained by Archbishop Arms. Now, if you recall, yesterday when I did my presentation, when Archbishop Arms died, canonically, I am able to either keep what I want or dissolve what I want. Well, most of these bishops, and I hadn't had any contact with them, and they didn't have any contact with Larry for a number of years, I just dissolved them all. I wanted to start with a clean slate. I didn't want to have baggage to deal with that I didn't know anything about. Because again, we talked about that reputation and everything else. Well, I'm sure of these people's lines because <clears throat> three of these bishops were at Larry's consecration. So pretty sure we were cool, but I hadn't heard from them. And for all I know, they may have gone back to the Lord as well. Currently, there are no new formal agreements under me. Why? Because I haven't found anybody who fits the criteria list. I've had a number of inquiries, but they don't, they don't fit. I have some friendships, I have collaborations, but no formal intercommunion agreements. And that's important, because friendships can easily say, no, we're done, for whatever reason. Fully formal intercommunion agreements get messy, and we don't want to have to deal with all the protocols that go with that. 